my dog got a haircut and they put a bow right in the middle of her forehead. I'm not sure how I feel about it. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're visiting here again, thank you. I appreciate you. Today we are going to be talking about five tips to help you stop body checking. These are some tips that I personally used in my body checking quitting journey. So hopefully these help you as well. If not, everyone's journey is different and that's okay. I'm just giving you some tips that really helped me and things that help me remember that my body is the least interesting thing about me and there's no point in body checking anyways because your body didn't change in the last five minutes that's what i tell myself sometimes my body did not change in the last 15 minutes since i put on my clothes okay okay so the first tip that i think is really going to help you when it comes to not body checking as much or quitting body checking or just not body checking in general and just getting better at getting out of the habit of body checking is to remove yourself from social media that can mean deleting your social media for a while that can mean unfollowing people that you find triggering or you compare yourself to or whatever the case may be but to remove yourself from social media as much as possible and i know that is very very difficult to do because we live in a world that is full of social media. It is so easy to get on your phone and go on social media, so I understand. But sometimes it is the best thing for mental health to not be on social media, especially when you struggle with something as detrimental as body checking and the things that that leads to and leads you to think about yourself and about your body. It can be so beneficial to take a step back from social media and really see if that plays a role in your body checking and what you believe about yourself and about your body. The thing about social media is that it breeds so much comparison and it holds so many unattainable standards and so many things that we compare ourselves to that just are not necessary at all. So one thing that really helped me and that I even do from time to time now is take breaks from social media so that I'm not constantly looking at other people and comparing myself to other people. That has been something that has really helped me in the past. Also, there is nothing wrong with unfollowing people who you compare yourself with a lot in a very unhealthy way there's some people that show a lot more of their body online than others so it's okay to not follow those people if it's not healthy for your mindset you are not obligated to follow someone just because they're your friend just because you hang out with them just because you know them just because you like their content it's okay to take a break from those types of things i just want to give you permission to do that if you need to but i think social media is very detrimental at times especially when it comes to comparison and body image issues so i think that it is sometimes necessary to take a break from social media and i think that they can really help with body image issues. The second thing that I think is really helpful is beginning to notice your triggers. So I think a lot of times we just immediately body check. You'll see a mirror, body check. You see another mirror, body check. You see a reflection, you body check. Something that is really important to do is to notice and have self-awareness of what the triggers are to body check. Whether that's walking past a mirror, whether that's wearing specific clothing, whatever it may be, notice those specific triggers and even being able to like write them down or keep track of them in like the notes page of your phone or writing them down physically it can really help for you to recognize okay this is a trigger how can i challenge that trigger or avoid that trigger so that i don't body check so i think not only is it important to notice the things that cause us to body check or notice the triggers that cause us to body check whether that's like social media walking past a mirror wearing specific clothing whatever it may be whatever the case may be noticing the triggers is important but also how you respond to the new realization of those triggers is also very important so what i mean by that is you don't want to just notice the triggers and just be like oh yeah those things trigger me but then continue to body check anyways you want to notice those triggers and then figure out what you can do about them so i think that is very important it also creates a lot of self-awareness on how you are thinking and what you are thinking throughout the day because obviously we're not just like not thinking about our bodies or not thinking about it when it comes to body checking stuff especially if you're body checking very frequently you're probably thinking about your body a lot throughout the day but i think it can really help to be aware of like what you're thinking and how you're feeling about yourself throughout the day that leads you to body check so i feel like that was kind of all over the place but it's very important to notice and understand the triggers and the things that lead you to body check and what you're thinking about yourself 
in order to help yourself stop body checking. Another thing that can be very helpful is covering mirrors. Now I know this might sound drastic and might be a very drastic measure for you, especially if you have like mirrors on your closet or you have mirrors in the bathroom or you have a long hanging mirror, whatever the case may be. Sometimes it's good to just not have a mirror for a while. And I know that that probably doesn't sound very realistic to like have to cover your mirror with something, but I think that it can be really beneficial and get you out of the cycle and the constant need to body check. It's kind of like the opposite of, a, of an exposure. So you're not constantly exposing yourself to the mirror, but you're taking away that ability to body check in the mirror so that your brain can recognize that it's not so critical for you to do so and you can create a better more neutral relationship with your body not based on how it looks but based on how you feel and you can create better thoughts and begin to talk to yourself in, if, in a nicer way if you're not constantly body checking and picking yourself apart in the mirror. Covering up the mirrors if you need to can be something that is really beneficial even if it's just for a short amount of time but it will kind of help you break that cycle of constantly body checking. Another thing that can help with constant body checking is not always having to wear clothes that might trigger your body checking. For example, when I was in recovery, I thought that I always had to challenge clothing that made me uncomfortable or I wasn't super comfortable in. I thought that it was really important for me to challenge myself when it came to the clothing department, but I think that it's also very important to have balance. So while it is okay to challenge yourself with clothing that might be a little more triggering or harder for you to wear, less comfortable, whatever the case may be. It's also okay to, when you're having bad body image days and you know that if you wear X, Y, and Z, you're gonna wanna body check a lot because you're gonna wanna know what you look like. It's okay to wear something that you're more comfortable in, that you don't feel as self-conscious in. It's okay to give your brain a break and it's okay to not constantly be challenging yourself. And I think that for a while in my recovery, I was like, oh, I always have to be challenging myself, otherwise I'm not improving and I'm not getting better, but that's not the case. It's okay to give yourself a break and not challenge yourself in one area so that you can better challenge yourself in another area. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, and the fifth and final thing that I always highly recommend, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you probably know that I definitely recommend this route as well on top of the other things that I mentioned but that is talking to a therapist and if you do not have access to a therapist talking to someone who you can trust someone who has been through it before who has dealt with body image issues or dealt with an eating disorder family a loved one anyone that you can trust and just talk about those things with because talking about your struggles with body image can be so helpful because it's getting those thoughts and fears and beliefs about yourself and about your body out so they're not just constantly ruminating in your head and I think also talking to a therapist can really help you brainstorm ideas on how to tackle your body image thoughts your body image issues in ways that you personally can help yourself not body check as much anymore or not body check at all having a support system is very important especially when it comes to challenging things like body image and what you think about yourself and how you feel about yourself i could talk all day about how therapy helped me with that but a lot of the work is also just doing it on your own which is why i gave you guys four other tips outside of that one but i give you guys a total of five tips and i hope that they helped these are just some things that have helped me when it comes to body checking thankfully i have a much much healthier relationship with my body now than i probably ever have before i don't feel the need to body check obviously i look at myself in mirrors and stuff when i'm getting dressed or i'm changing but i'm not picking myself apart i'm not posing in certain ways i'm not taking pictures of myself and one thing i want to mention also is that if you have pictures of yourself on your phone from body checking whether that's current or from a long time ago when you were like deep in your eating disorder or whatever the case may be delete them i on my phone for the longest time had pictures of me in the depths of my eating disorder when I body checked all the time and for some reason I took pictures of them and I think that a lot of people do honestly but I had those on my phone for a really long time and I would look at them every once in a while for some weird reason but I deleted them a long time ago and it was the most freeing thing in the whole entire world one of the best things I've ever done for my personal recovery so if that is something that you do or something that you have on your phone or you body check in some way like that 
don't do that and just delete them. It will be much better for your mental health. I can promise you that. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you watched all the way here, I would love for you to like and subscribe. That just helps me with the algorithm and getting these videos out to other people who are struggling or would love to talk about the same things that we did today or talk about eating disorders or mental health in general because I'm a big advocate for mental health. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.